This book is a blend of poetry, beautiful artwork, and scientific facts. It is called Welcome to the Greenhouse. The author is Jean Yolen, and all the illustrations were done by Laura Regan. Jane Yolen begins her book by posing a question to get you thinking. Welcome to the Greenhouse. Welcome to the home of the sloth and capuchins, of the toucan and tamarinds, of the coral snake and ocelots. What other animals do you think live here? Welcome to the green house. Welcome to the hot house. Welcome to the land of the warm, wet days. There are no doors in the greenhouse. Yet strong lianas bar the way. There are no windows in the greenhouse. Yet ropey vines frame the views. There are no wooden floors in the greenhouse. Only fallen leaves and white rootlets and fungal threads. There are no walls in the greenhouse. Only the giant forest trees. There is no roof in the greenhouse, only the canopy of leaves where the sun and rain poke through narrow slots. Where the slow, green-coated sloth and the quick-fingered capuchin make their slow, quick ways from room to room in the greenhouse, in the dark green, light green, emerald green, bright green, copper green, blue green, ever new green house. But it is not all green in the hot green house. A flash of blue hummingbird, a splash of golden toad, a lunge of waking lizards, a plunge of silver fish. A slide of coral snake through leaves, a glide of butterflies through air, past crimson flowers, past showy orchid bowers, everywhere color threads through, spreads through the hot green house. And this is not a quiet house, not in the day, with the ahoo, ahoo, ahoo of the howler troop welcoming the dawn, with the crunch, crunch of longhorn beetles chewing through wood, with the pick buzz, hum buzz of a thousand thousand bees droning over flowers. With the high of the golden lion tamarind warning off intruders, with the kriek, kriek, kriek of keeled, billed toucans feeding on ripe, sweet figs, with a <coughs> beneath the fig tree where the wild pig picks through the fallen fruit, this is not a quiet house, not even in the night, with the chirp, 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 of chorusing frogs from limbs and logs, from trunks and leaves, from the water's edge, from the rocky ledge, welcoming the dark. With the quack, 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 quack of the boat billed herons fishing in the river, with the whoop, whoop, whoosh of the fluttering bats flying through the evening air, with the twittery, twittery of the kinkajous calling from the tops of the trees.
alert for the soft of the ocelot on the prowl for its next meal. This is a loud house, a bright house, a day house, a night house, a wet house, a warm house, a single and a swarm house, a monkey house, a tree house, a fish and bird and bee house. Welcome to the greenhouse and the hot summer days. The end. Jane Yolen's evocative poetry ended on the previous page. This is her prose writing to her readers. She says, Did you know tropical rainforests cover only 6% of our earth, but they are home to two-thirds, 66%, of all the species of plants and animals in our world? You would think that we would be taking very good care of this greenhouse. However, in the last hundred years, we have cut down over half the world's rainforests. Today, we are destroying 50 acres a minute, every minute. If we do not do something soon, there will be no more greenhouse. Not for the monkeys and fish and birds and bees and beetles and wild pigs and bats and kinkajous and all the hundreds of thousands of flowers and fruits and trees, and not for us either. If you are interested in learning more about the rainforest and ways to preserve it, you can get in touch with the Earth Island Institute, and at the very bottom here is the web address for that same organization now in Berkeley, California, www.earthisland.org. And if you're interested in just a place to learn more scientific facts about the Earth, Columbia University has a site you might want to visit. It's earth.columbia.edu. Jane Yolen has helped create nearly 400 books for young readers. So if you're going to look into her career, there's a lot to discover. She has her own website, janeyolen.com. Illustrator Laura Regan also has a website that's easy to find, lauraregan.com, and you'll see there immediately that she's a photographer, an illustrator, a painter, all kinds of uh, can be found on her website. And so, this combination of nonfiction, poetry, and artwork has been Welcome to the Greenhouse, written by Jane Yolen illustrated by Laura Regan.